Let's take our simple flame effect and create some floating embers to add to it for an even more effective cozy feel. First we need an ember. Press Shift A to add an icosphere, drop the subdivisions down to 1, and the radius down to 0 0.2. G to grab and move it out of frame, then let's rename this to ember. Go to the shading workspace and add a new material. Name it something like ember material. Let's change the emission color to a nice ember orange and set the emission strength to somewhere around 25. Make sure that in the render properties you have bloom turned on. You can come back and adjust these values to get the glow you like. For now, let's set threshold to 5, the knee to 0 0.5, radius to 0 0.5 and the intensity to 1. These values may also affect your flame brightness, so adjust them as needed. Now we just need to emit the embers. Press Shift A to add a plane mesh, S to scale it down to roughly the size we need, and G to move it into place. Let's also move it down to our flame height, G to move, Z to lock direction. Then go to the Particles properties and add a particle system set to emitter. You can press spacebar to stop the animation for now. We don't want to burn down the forest, so let's decrease the number of embers emitted to around 50. This number is spread across the number of frames set in the animation. We want it to start on frame 1, and I have my animation running 250 frames, so set the end to 250. Lifetime is the number of frames each ember lives for. Check what works best for you. I'll set these to 40 frames. And let's add a little randomness to their lifespan. Such is life. 0 0.2 should be just fine. Under render, set render as to object. Scale to about 0 0.15 and scale randomness to max. Then under object, we can select the ember as the instance object. And lastly, under field weights, we want to set gravity to about 0 0.01 because gravity is a myth. Press zero on the numpad to get the camera view. Now that you can see the emitter plane easier, make sure it's sitting where you want. Quick tip, you can temporarily set the number of emissions in the particles properties back up to about 500. This way you can see the line a little better. Then resize and place the plane where you want it, and set emissions back when you're done. We can now run the animation by pressing spacebar to see our beautiful shiny embers. I also like to add some turbulence to give the movement some variety. To do this, press Shift A, go down to force fields and select turbulence. Press 7 on the numpad to get the top view, G to move, and place it on your emitter plane. G to grab again, Z to lock direction, and put it at the bottom of the fire. S to scale and size it to just a bit bigger than the emitter plane. Now you can go back and tweak the values as you like, but otherwise that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more. Cheers for now.